Hi, Alan here. This is my last of the uh, videos showing off some new e ukuleles that are out there. And um, this one caught me by surprise because I saw it at a local dealer. It is a uh, Mackay brand uh, soprano ukulele with a cedar top and willow laminate back and sides. But uh, when I picked it up and played it, I was amazed at the sound, as you will soon see. But uh, first let's look at some of the uh, features of this. The top is uh, solid cedar. Um, it has kind of a rope binding around the sound hole and on the, the body. Uh, came strung with aquila strings. Um, one thing to note is that uh, Ohana sells the exact same model, except that it only has the rope binding around the sound hole. Uh, the Mackay has it around the body as well. But other than that, it's the same bridge, saddle, neck, uh, willow laminate back and sides. I was particularly uh, struck by the kind of the spalted look here of this willow laminate. But let's hear what it sounds like. loud. Got a punch to it because it's cedar. It has a really good ring for having laminate insides. Um, not to uh, compare which one's better, but for apples and oranges sake. I've got the mainland red cedar. So it is a cedar, but this is mainland is a solid wood body back and sides. Um, I believe it's mahogany on the back and sides. This is a concert size, a little bigger, so it'll resonate a little fuller. Now, you're going to find that um, there's a lot of similarities between some companies, Ohana uh, and Mackay and, uh, say, Bushman and Mainland, uh, because all these ukuleles are made in China, and a lot of them are made at the same factories, but then they're set up differently with different features, like the rope bindings on the Mainland. Um, but that's not to say that there's no difference between them in sound. Uh, I was listening to Ken, Ken Middleton's review of a really nice looking Ohana. It had a sound hole on the side there instead of in the middle there. Uh, it looked kind of like an ear shape. Well, Mackay has the same, exact same model, but I was able to play it and it didn't sound as good in person as Ken's Ohana did on the video on YouTube so um, you just have to be careful and the uh, same thing um, the Chinese factories will send models to the dealer and it's up to the reputable dealer 
to go through and make sure that some bad ukuleles never get to the market. So they have to you know, send them back to the, to the company earnings. So uh, even when you're dealing with ukuleles that are very similar uh, from the factory, uh, a good dealer, a reputable dealer is essential so you know that you're not spending 200 or 300 dollars on a bad investment. So anyway, that's my two cents.